Most guys that struggle with getting a girlfriend is because of their looks, but it's not surprising. We live in a world where good looking people get treated better. And when you mm. think of attractiveness, it's based on looks. A part of- I disagree 100%. You do not need looks in order to talk to a girl. You approach the girl, you talk to her, you're charming. You need charm. That's what you need, not looks. Because you can charm a girl. You can text a girl, and if you text the girl the right thing, she's gonna be yours. I'd have to say the funniest people, they are on the highest scale of attractiveness because I've seen a lot of comedians pull the most attractive women. It is personality, but you still need the looks to get in the door, to attract the girl, to even have the chance to show off your personality. The problem mm, with saying that personality disagree. Okay, think of this, right? Let's play with this scenario. There are two guys which are approaching a girl. One is charismatic, funny, but doesn't look as attractive as the other one. And the other one is super attractive, handsome, tall, all of that, but he's not as charismatic as the other one. After a while, yeah, approaching wise, yes, the good looking guy will come in and probably be able to talk to her, that night but if you look at it from a period of let's say two three weeks then of course the more charismatic person or charismatic guy will be able to pull the girl if he gets to talk to her long enough matters more than looks is two guys can say the same <coughs> thing an unattractive guy no. and an attractive guy can say the same thing but the unattractive guy will come off as creepy and will get brushed off mm. but the attractive guy will get more attention and girls will gravitate towards them more and they'll come off as sweet or mm. funny or they'll think that it was such a cute thing to say but that's because when you're attractive it gives off a different vibe girls no. like you more. It has to do with your aura, my guy. If you just look at this guy, he's constantly negative. You have to be funny, you have to be charming, you have to flirt with life. Uh, some of the guys which get the most girls are actually charming. They flirt, they're good at flirting. And if you look at what Casanova and all of these people, they weren't lookers, they weren't. They were good with their words. Psychologically, they were good. So it has to do with finding her inner desire or fun. That's what it has to do with. It has nothing to do with like, he's good looking because you can be a good looking guy but have nothing to say. That's exactly like saying, if I'm hanging out with a girl and she is funny, makes me laugh and she's like a good vibe, I'm more attracted to her. Like it automatically pulls you in when people are happy, when they're smiling, when you come to a party and everyone is like, oh, in good vibes, and like, oh, hey, what's your name? Oh, let's, oh, let's party, let's take a shot. It attracts people to you when you're fun, when you got good vibes, not the guy which is like quiet, standing there. Yes, maybe here in Sweden, maybe in Scandinavia that works, but not out in the world. That's why it's like, mostly like people which travel, they have to be social they have to invite people in if you're traveling you can't just be i'm a good looking guy and when you're attractive everything that you say is funny even when it's not funny, <coughs> a girl will laugh at it anyways just to get your attention and they'll find any reason to be around you close to you and they'll even approach you or they might talk to their friends about how attractive they think you are mm. and their friends will come up to you and tell you that my friend thinks you're attractive mm. or my friend thinks you're cute. When you're attractive in this world, you get so much more opportunities. People treat Buddy, look into the camera when you're speaking, okay? Look into the camera, talk to us. We're here. <laughs> We're here for you. We're here to help you, my guy. But like, you know, I watch a lot of videos like this because I think they're very interesting and I do understand what he's saying. I, I get it, right? But as a person, you can't think like that. It's almost like a loser thinking like he is a loser. I mean, in order to win, you have to first imagine it. Like, okay, it's possible. It's possible for me to win. And then you start doing the things that you need to do in order to win. You might not win, but you'll be running way faster. It's like the guy which 
planned a trip to the sun. So he builds this rocket and launches off, right? And then he crashes on the moon. And he's like so irritated over the fact that he didn't make it to the sun. But you made it to the moon, my guy. Better, you get more girls, they'll approach <sighs> you. You might even have a higher chance of getting a job just because you're good looking or even a promotion because you're perceived in a better way versus a guy who's unattractive they'll struggle more they'll struggle to connect with people they'll struggle to make friends they feel like no one sees them mm. no girls would approach them mm. they have to make the first move some jobs like being a host or a waiter they'll only hire attractive people there's so many advantages of being attractive. Just like there's so many advantages <laughs> of being wealthy. You have access to so many more resources and so much more opportunities than someone who's poor. Life's not fair. Mm. But I don't think anyone's really surprised True. by that. I feel like that's something that everyone knows, okay. but not everyone accepts. The yeah. main reason why girls like bad boys is because they're good looking. If you're an unattractive bad boy, you won't get any girls. Girls are- Yes. Yes, if you're an unattractive bad boy, you will get girls. 100% you will get girls. Into the bad boy look. But it's the attractive hmm. bad boy look. The ones that you see in movies. And some guys don't understand that. So they try to be a bad boy when they're not very good looking. <laughs> girls will think that they're rude and stay away from them. And then they'll complain. And they'll wonder what they're doing oh wrong. My when God, they're nice, man. they can't get any girls. When they're being a bad boy and treating a girl bad, they can't get any girls. So they think to themselves, what do you do? And the right answer is be yourself. There's always someone out there that will find you attractive. But the question is, Damn. are you going to find them attractive? Are you going to like them? The only reason that a girl stays with a bad boy and stays in that toxic I relationship need a big is boy. because they're good looking. They'll stay for years, even though it's an unhealthy relationship. And they're always stressed out and miserable. And it's not really the guy that... Okay, he's a little bit right. I think it has to also do with what biology, genes and all of that because it's procreating at the end of the day and they rather procreate with a man which is going to give their offsprings the best chance for survival so in a way he's right in a way when he says like people will give promotions to good looking people more than they'll give promotions to ugly people and all of that which is rambling on about his correct 50 50. i i do agree i do yes women will put up with I, I think bad treatment from bad boys just because it's a bad boy and it's a status symbol and it's like wearing Louis Vuitton or Gucci, right? But it has to do with you at the end of the day and it's just like, do you really care about that? Because the way that I view it is like when you're rich, when you're really, really rich, you don't have Gucci, you don't have Louis Vuitton, you just care about being healthy experiences and having i guess a loyal girlfriend you're not thinking about all of these other things so yes i do understand where he's coming from but i view it like this it's the power of one yes you can view the world as it's out to get you and you're never going to achieve anything or you can say like listen i have a good life my parents are alive I have a car, I get to go to work, I get to go to the bar, talk to these females. Not all of them are gonna be interested in you, but that's like everything, that's like selling, right? When you're on cold calls, I worked as a seller, you're on cold calls, you have to pick up the phone, you have to start dialing. Maybe that day you get one, maybe that day you get two sales, but doesn't really matter because you have to average it out and that is the problem with I think a lot of losers nowadays they they don't think in terms of like it has nothing really to do with you there are a thousand things that women are going through every day I don't know like I never take anything personally just just be happy happy that you're here and stop overthinking over the fact that if a girl likes you or not like I think people on social media care too much about Instagram and TikTok and what people are talking about and the latest trends you know you could just not and that's where I'm at in my life right now I just don't care 
I say what I want to say, I do what I want to do. That's freedom, not thinking over the fact if people are going to care if you have a Louis bag or if you don't. I think that's very childish. They actually want to stay with. They don't really like their personality, but they stay for the looks. The looks make their personality seem better. Like they can change them. They can see their potential <sighs> because they see how they are on the good days. But they're not really um, in the love days. with them. They're in love with the fantasy of who they could be. Their Ooh. imagination of yeah. who they could be. They're yeah. in love with their potential, not yeah. who they really are. But if it was an unattractive guy, they wouldn't have stayed. They would have been left as soon as they were treated bad. But when you're attractive, you <sighs> get away with more things. People are more tolerant of your actions. Of what you do and they tend to forgive you even though you <laughs> treated them bad but if you're unattractive you're not getting a second yeah. chance you'll come off as the bad guy okay. just by being attractive you get more opportunities even if you do something wrong that actually might open up an opportunity for you to become a model there's attractive guy yeah. who did the wrong thing but that actually opened up an opportunity for them to <sighs> become a model life is different for attractive people. They don't really understand what unattractive people have to live through. How it feels to be left out and feeling like they're left out in everything. When you're not good looking, it's like having a bad resume. No one will look at your resume. It's equivalent to not graduating high school and having no work experience and trying to get an office job. Mm. You'll automatically get rejected. It's not impossible, but it's almost impossible. When you're attractive, you're going through life on easy mode. Everything is so much easier. People are more willing to help you. People just gravitate towards you. People are willing to give you more chances and more opportunities and pay attention to you more versus someone who's unattractive. They feel like they're shut off from the rest of the world. Like no one pays attention to them. No one wants to be around them. It's hard to go through life when you're unattractive. It feels like people are not treating you fairly. Like people disregard you. And people are less tolerant of your actions. And less forgiving. Okay, you. that's where we're going to pause it. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you with this story. And this is... Let me just try to sum it up in my head because I, I get what he's saying, I get it, but it has to do with your vibe and which frequency you're vibrating on. So, I'm texting these two girls, right? One is super attractive and one is, I have to say she's attractive, I really like her, she's beautiful, but not as beautiful as the other one, right? The one which I don't really care about, I'm just saying stupid shit to sending stupid memes, like just being myself, right? And she is loving me for it. Every time I'm texting, she's replying directly, she's sending heart emojis, doing all of that, right? She's interested. But then I'm texting the other girl and I have a totally different mindset, right? I'm more serious. I'm not as open as I am, right? The other girl I can send the dance videos to when I'm just being goofy, I'm just being myself, making jokes, right? and she is vibing with me. But I'm not interested in the other girl. I'm more interested in the more attractive girl. So I'm texting the, the, the more attractive girl and I just feel like I'm not getting the same response, right? And I fumbled the bag, of course, on the more attractive girl. So, I don't know, maybe what, two months after, I was looking at the text messages, right? And I was just like analyzing myself because I was like, why am I attracting this one and not the other one? So I thought to myself, let me just look through, right? And I was reading through the text messages and I could see the difference. I was two totally different people when I was texting the more attractive girl, the girl which I view more attractive and which I'm a little bit nervous around compared to the girl which I, I don't care about her. So at the end of the day, I think it has to do a lot with how you act around people and which frequency you're vibrating on because there are certain times I was texting that other girl, right? The one which I really wanted and I was saying the right things and I was pulling her in. But then there were other times where I was overthinking it and just not being myself and not just like, if I'm shooting out a text, I shoot out a text, right? And that is the mindset I think that you should have when texting women. You should not overthink it. You should just 
text her like you would text a friend. Every single time you're like thinking, oh, I have this fun little meme that I want to send to send it to her as well because she's on the exact same level mentally as the one which you don't care about but you have to be that person as well you can't be the guy which is stiff overthinking things texting the wrong things you can't be that guy you have to be loose fun joke around you know sexual talk you have to do all of that because if you overthink a thing and this is a universal law in general right if you are playing football and you're overthinking every move then you have a bad game but if you just wake up that day and think like okay let me just go and play for the fun of it you're gonna be Ronaldinho but anyway guys leave it in the comment section what you guys think do you agree with me or maybe you agree with this other guy which is in the car maybe life is in that way and I'm just viewing it from a totally different lens but uh yeah leave it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video peace -os.